We're gonna take the EXP 1000 HD and we're gonna run a test on a Class 8 truck with four batteries. The negative clamp will go to the battery negative and the positive clamp will go to the battery positive. The sign-on screen comes up, EXP 1000, the HD version software. Gonna select user number one. We're gonna do the full system test. We're gonna select truck. We've got four batteries in this vehicle. They are 12 volt. They are group 31s and they're regular flooded automotive style batteries. They are rated in the CCAs, 700 CCAs. It's asking for temperature. Typically, you take the temperature directly off the batteries. Result comes up, good pack. Now let's go ahead and do the rest of the test when the unit asks you to start the engine. We're gonna go directly to the starter test. Yes. Start the engine. Starting test results, cranking normal. Let's go to the next screen. And the amp clamp is available, we want to include it. Attach the amp clamp to the tester. So we hit next. Now I've got a companion who's holding the amp clamp next to the alternator cable. Hit next. We're gonna put it around the, the positive cable at the alternator now. As soon as that's completed, we'll go ahead and hit next. Checking for alternator output. All the vehicle loads are off and the engine is at idle, so we'll hit next. It's asking for an increase in RPM. We'll bring it up to about 1,500 or 2,000 RPM, and we'll see the graph increase as the AC ripple increases off the alternator. RPM detected, back to idle. We hit next. Testing the alternator at idle with all the loads off. Now it wants the high beam headlights on. I usually put my left foot on the brake pedal to add the loads. Lower motor on high, and I'll hit next. We're checking it idle. Now it's gonna ask for increase RPM again. We'll bring it up to that 1500 to 2000 RPM level. We see that the ripple increases. Hold engine RPM. Engine rev detected, idle engine. Now we hit next. At this point in time, the testing is actually complete and the instruction is to turn all loads in the engine off. We'll select next. We have no problems identified with the alternator. Let's go ahead and print these results. Line up the IR port on the tool with the printer and I have to hit print. You have to hold the tester aligned with the printer until the hourglass is gone from the screen on the EXP1000. Every EXP1000 retains the last test value in memory. No further maintenance is required at this time, and a good preventive maintenance check has already been completed. This vehicle is good to go back on the road.